Hello people and uh, welcome to another Planetside 2 video. This video is going to be about flying the Skite, the uh, fast little maneuverable aircraft of the Vanu Sovereignty and comparing it to the NC's Reaver. And uh, these aircraft are actually quite different, it's not only the way they look and sound. And in a situation like this the Reaver definitely has the upper hand being that it deals more damage and can take more damage. But, the Skite is more maneuverable, it's easier to handle, and the default machine gun is far more accurate than the one on the Reaver. From the experience I have right now, I would choose the Skite over the Reaver, but I have not tried the rocket on the Skite yet, I haven't uh, up been able to upgrade that. Uh, even though I have with the Reaver, so uh, because of that and because of some other factors, I am very uncertain of which one I would say is the best. In my last Reaver video I showed you a little bit of how you uh, can shoot infantry with the main machine gun. This is something that is quite tricky to do. Now with the Skite it is way easier. Uh, here you can see a couple of engineers are repairing this Thunderer and I'm able to pick off at least one of them. And I gotta say that the accuracy of the gun on the Skite makes this much easier than uh, with the Reaver. So try to uh, bring out some more repair guys, but I'm not gonna do any significant damage uh, on the Sunderer with this uh, Skite anyway. But as you can see here, the gun is very precise. Uh, the bullets, or whatever they are, hit almost exactly where the crosshair is, which is not something that you see on the Reaver. Uh, next up here you see me completely ignoring this uh, Mosquito and uh, getting away from this area. I do not want to dogfight this uh, Mosquito and it's not because I almost uh, am down to half my he health. The reason is, I'm sure you've heard the expression pick your battles. In Planetside 2 I would say pick your battle ground. You do not want to dogfight above an enemy Sunderer. It's just a little piece of advice that I want to give to you guys who are interested in flying but maybe don't have that much experience. Uh, many times when you dogfight, the enemy aircraft is the least of your concern. Now here I see that my teammate has spotted something and I'm uh, ready to lend a hand. So uh, we take out this lightning pretty fast and uh, then the next thing is picking up the in infantry. And again, without the rockets. Much easier than with the Reaver. Another thing that is much easier with the Skite is landing because uh, the laws of physics just do not apply to the Skite. And you don't have to worry about crashing when you land like you do with the Reaver, especially when the servers are a bit laggy. Now notice here how I am constantly taking damage from behind. Well, I'm not really taking any damage, but still, pretty annoying. Kind of reminds me of an insect that just won't go away when you're trying to read a book on a hot summer day. Really irritating. Enemy infiltrator spotted! So thankfully I didn't have to worry too much about anti-air when I recorded this footage. Which is by the way quite unusual because uh, normally there are loads of people using the anti-air. Either the stationary or the uh, sky guards or the uh, anti-air max units. But the thing is that you don't really need anti-air to take out the skites or mosquitoes or reavers for that matter. Because uh, you can use either the default rocket as a heavy assault or a regular tank. 
And if you want to see a video of me shooting down a couple of skites with uh, the uh, rocket as heavy assault, just click on the link on the top left side corner of the screen. And it's gonna look pre pretty much the same way as it looks for this guy who shoots me right here and now. Nice shot, sir. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.